Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting So today is Friday Freebie Day, we are on number 132 Now I got something a little bit different today, now this was Andy's idea and I think it is absolutely brilliant um, Especially if you have lost your mojo a little bit um, And you sit at your desk and you think what am I going to make today And you really want to make something, so this is like a little game and I think it's fabulous so we have a dice and I have some words here um, You've got two this week and you, they're like little boxes And I've got two plain ones here as well um, And these words on here are to go onto your boxes Okay, so this is a dice So you cut these all out um, and you make it up into um, a, a dice And then these two you make up into the little boxes And these words go on the boxes Now you'd have to print another one off as well And it will depend on what you want to do So you could print off a couple of the plain ones and stick them on Now we have shabby chic, vintage, mixed media, recycled, boho and eclectic Now these are all different styles of sort of like journals or cards that you can make and things like that so that would go on one dice and then I've got colours and I've got purple, pink, blue, green, neutral and red so there are colours that you can do your um, say you're going to do a recycled um, neutral and then I've got these ones which it says tag, paper clip, cluster, pocket, envelope or belly band so you would shake the dice um, and it will just mix up so you'd have it will come out like a mixed media tag in green so that's what you would make um, and the dice you can sh you can um, shake that up and you'd say it comes out on two you make two of them um, so I just think this is just really really good fun and I'm gonna do a video tonight as well to show you um, the start of it and we'll make something so I just think it's a really, really good idea. Now I'm going to just show you how I have made them. Um, and I've also put it in the journal as well. Now the first thing I actually made, I'm going to show you this. I have printed the little box on with some of my beautiful papers and I've made it into a little pincushion. Now I don't have a pincushion. Now I, I just think this is just so cute now I've weighted it down I just stuck a couple of coins in the bottom of the box with a with my glue gun and I've just stuffed it with some stuffing from that you stuff sort of like little animals and things with and I popped a little bit of my um, rose trim around it and I just think that's lovely so that if you're not into doing the dice thing you can make a little little boxes or have all sorts of little things and I just love that so I'm going to pop that on my desk because I don't have anywhere to put any of my needles and pins now I have made two this is what they look like and this is what the dice looks like I just think they are fantastic so you would shake the dice so you'd have three I've got one to make up and then you'd shake this one so you'd have a recycled in pink and then we would make up these ones in what you would make and I have got cluster I have got paper clip we have got a pocket I've got an envelope a tag or a belly band which I just think is lovely so we're going to make one of these up but first of all I want to show you what I've done in the um, journal how I've used it in the journal now I have on this one I printed out two of these so what I did on the blank piece I printed onto the paper first and then I printed this onto some pattern paper so you will get this template coming out on top of your, your pattern paper and then you would just cut around it and I have made it into a pocket so I'm going to take these out these are just some of my journaling cards so if you didn't want to make a little, little box um, or a little dice um, you can make this so what I've done I've cut it down here cut the little flat bits off and stuck these on top so we have a little pocket so you can just use it as a pocket in here as well a little tuck spot so then I've got another one in there like that so you can still use it in your journal so you can print it off as many times as you like on different um, pattern paper so I just think that looks really really lovely and that was our lovely tree from last week I do love that one so you can incorporate it into your journal 
as well which is lovely because what I have got here so what I did pretend this is patterned I just cut this one off and this one off and then you have that L shape and then I've just cut the little flaps off um, and then these ones that I cut off I just made into little pockets which you add onto there so I just think that's great now this is the one we're going to use now so let's put these behind and I'm going to just take these because I need to put these on top I have just inked these so I'm trying to get that one off but I love them I think they look, come out really really well I've just inked around the edges like that so it's really really simple so what I'm going to do I've also scored it on here as well so it's a lot lot easier if you score them because it's a lot easier to um, fold and put together but again you can use them as little gift boxes so you can again print any pattern on there any of your digital papers over the top um, and then you've got a beautiful little box so we do that I'm going to take my glue we're going to glue these little ends up if I can get my glue out there we go there we are a little bit of glue on there a little bit of glue this side and then we want to just fold it up they're really really simple to make like that so stick these on I'm just sticking them down with some tacky glue but again make sure you stick them down with something um, you know that's not gonna it's quite sticky a nice good glue so it doesn't pop open like that make sure you stick it up properly as well like that take your time doing it because you want a nice box that's nice and square okay and then what I'm going to do I'm going to fold those two in we're going to glue these down like this now this is just going to be so fun to do so what I will do tonight or after I've made this video I will make another one and get some bits and pieces together and make a video so you can do it along with me as, as well and once you've made your dice um, you can shake it and make whatever you like with it you don't have to I've put these in the kit I put these in the digital um, paper but again you can write on them whatever you like um, but I've got shabby chic eclectic so you can put any style on there that you want to um, it doesn't have to be the same as mine I've just put them down so it's easy for you if you can't think of something it's quite easy for you to um, just stick them on and do that like that so and once you now that's your little box so again you can have a little box to put some little bits and pieces in and send a little gift off however you like now when you're doing the top one on open these up just a little bit so they sort of like come up over so when you push it down that will stick to it if you know what I mean so just sort of open them up because this has to obviously close like a box like there and then oops I need to do this lid like that and then you just want to leave it for a little while just to make sure it's sort of like glued down properly like that so stick that down and hold that and then just make sure that's stuck so that you have a lovely little box little cube isn't it but again leave it as a box if you want a little box to put little knickknacks in um, or make a little one of these I've just cut the lid off and made that but I just think that's so cute so there we go there's your little box so I'm just going to make sure this doesn't come undone pop my lid on there and then I'm going to just ink around the outside because I want it to match these little ones here but again you can ink it or colour it or print it onto some coloured paper first so it's already done it's entirely up to you how you do it um, but I quite like just um, like this I think it looks really nice so they're not so they're sort of like a neutral colour aren't they they're like a little little vintage squares 
like that and as well if you wanted the you could have these on a display you could put little pictures on the size and pop them on a shelf like little blocks like people do with little wooden blocks don't they so let's just ink this up nicely now if you didn't want these do have little black lines around it if you didn't want the little lines around it you can fold it the other way so you wouldn't have you wouldn't see the black lines fold it sort of like inside out um, because that's what I did with this one because I had two of the dice and I didn't need another die so I folded it inside on itself um, so it's white on the outside because I didn't need two dice um, unless you want two dice great for kids games as well aren't they if you can't find your dice and you've lost it you can print one of these off nice to have a spare let's have a look so is it just this one left like this so this is such fun so yes this was Andy's idea which I think is fantastic I think it's so it's going to be such fun to do there we go I haven't done that very tidy but that's okay isn't it so let's pop this to the side now I'm going to just glue these on now I've just glued them on sort of like corner to corner like that but they do fit if you wanted them on there like that they do fit but I quite like them as sort of at an angle like that so let's just pop a little bit of glue pop on a paper clip so it all depends what you want to make doesn't it so what's your favorite things to make um, so obviously one of mine is paper clip you must all know that by now because um, I do like making paper clips and then we have belly band should we have it going this way so that could be a big belly band going from top to bottom on your page or from side to side depends how much time you've got to make something and then we have a cluster which is a nice one to make isn't it so a cluster can go on there and then we can have an envelope which you can make out of um, old paper you can get an env envelope and decorate it so it's entirely up to you so let's just pop that on there and then we have a tag so you can put a tag on there like that and then we have a pocket so you can make any style pocket you like can't you so that's what you will be doing for your little crafting depends how long you've got to do as well doesn't it look at that love them I absolutely love them so there we go so we've got three different things there we've got a dice that you can shake so you can make three of them or you can make six of them it depends what you want to do um, but I just thought the dice was lovely so you can use that to however you like but if you shake these so we've got to do a belly band in purple in recycled paper or recycle so you could have any of your recycled card paper anything like that in purple and we're doing a belly band so how fab is that and then we'll do another one so we do vintage in pink in an envelope so there we go so pink and vintage so you could have like a a nice sort of like shabby pink um, which would go with a vintage you know that nice sort of like raspberry sort of like pink and then you could make a vintage envelope um which I love and you could have pink roses on it or something beautiful so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to do a video this evening um, and show you what we can come up with um, and I hope you will be all ready with your dice and come along and work with me which will be fun and then we could make three of them 
so it's brilliant so that's your fun game today so if you have a little bit of brain freeze you don't know what you're doing you can come into your craft room have a little shake and make something up like that so i think they are fabulous so something a little bit different again you can make anything out of it so i have made this lovely little pincushion and again we can pop it into our journal like this as a little pocket so these come out so these are just some of my little um, journal cards and you can stick it in there i popped a couple of my butterflies on there and these will just pop in there so these are the tabs that i just cut off and i just stuck them on there so that just fits in there that one i just doubled over and popped it in there a few cards and then we've got the big one at the back where you just pop those in there so i love it lots of different ways to do it i'm sure you will probably come up with other ways um i'd love to see what you come up with on these so if you didn't like the words you could have any anything you like this one i was thinking a spare and this could be your little one at your end of crafting you could have a little treat you could put cakes and biscuits a coffee you could even put a gin and tonic on it so i can have a gin and tonic at the end of the day wouldn't that be lovely so there we go guys a nice fun one for you today for you this week so have fun doing it please join me this evening for a video um, which i will give it a go and see how it works out so this is what you will get you will have this one with the dice on it and your words you can just cut out um, and you will have two plain ones like that uh, which you can make up so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me um, please stay safe take care and i will see you soon all right guys bye bye